guys, we're back and you are still watching Arj Be The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge 2011. And right now, I am in Salango for the final leg of the State Levels Challenge. Salango is centrally located on the west coast of Peninsula Malaysia and is one of the most prosperous and developed states in the country. This state also has the largest population in Malaysia. Around 4.1 million people live right here in Salango. That includes me. Wow, I guess that's the reason why we have to have a two-day challenge just to accommodate the huge number of teams that will be representing their schools. The first day is for the lowest secondary category and the second day is for the upper secondary category. So, let's not waste any more time and let's see what our friends are up to right here at the Tropicana City Mall. Over these two days, we will see students from all over Salango representing their schools in the lower secondary, F123 category and the upper secondary, F4, F5 category. Wow, just look at the turn up. It's amazing. Normally, we will do our own research and we will acquire our own erudition from Wiki, uh, Wikipedia or the encyclopedias and uh, several websites. And for the hands-on challenges, we would watch, uh, we would catch the broadcast on TV. So there wasn't really any audition or any quiz or whatsoever, whatsoever. We just decided to come together and form a team. We read a lot of books, we went online, we did a lot of research. Yeah. Papa Crab looked at the picture of the planet Mars and told Softshell Crab that Mars has a distinguishable red coloured appearance and is often known as the Red Planet. Which of the following best explains its red appearance? The answer, we're looking for oxidation of iron on its surface. 32 teams getting that correct, 32 teams. Mr. Forex has the following bank notes in his possession. One pound sterling, one US dollar, one Singapore dollar and one euro. He goes to a money changer to convert the notes to Malaysian ringgit. Which bank note will fetch him the highest value? The correct answer is one pound sterling. 41 of you getting it correct. The diagram below shows a representation of the components of a facial cleansing cream. Your question, what does X represent? All responses in. The answer to emulsifier. 33 of you getting it right. Amina added 2 grams of santan to 8 grams of pure water. After mixing them well, she further added 10 grams of pure water. What is the percentage of concentration of the santan? Correct answer, 2 over 20, 10%, 53 of you, 53 of you getting it right. Well, those were the teams that made it to the top 10 list. Congratulations, so let's see how they'll do in the next round. For the F123 category, the teams have to construct a multi-purpose chair for a student that can be used for various functions such as reading, leisure and comes with a tabletop for writing. Judges will then give points and the teams will then proceed to their oral presentation. Entire structure. And for the F4 F5 category, 
The teams have to construct a system that will enable housewives to draw open or draw closed curtains in houses automatically. You are required to show the system in operation for at least a single window or a double window. Judges again will evaluate and give points to the teams. It's time for the oral presentation, guys, followed by the buzzer session. To draw open the curtains, you simply place the nut, the nut into the mixer switch, and the motor will turn and wind up, <laughs> wind up the string. The bobbin rolls to the left, and the curtain draws open. This is the beetle. You can stand dimension one centimeter by two centimeter through a magnifying glass. If the image is magnified six times, calculate the area of image of the stand. Twelve cm square. Seventy two cm square. Seventy two cm square. We have a correct answer. To reduce the acidity of our mouth. A doctor walked straight up to Mr. Brainwave and told that he had to carry out an ECG test on his father. What does the acronym ECG stand for? Team D. Electrocardiogram. Two points for Team D. A space shuttle launched by Japan was one of its kind because it's the first sent to collect rock and soil samples from a celestial body. Identify the celestial body. Team D, your answer please. Comet. We have a pass there, Team D. And Team A, your answer. Asteroid. Asteroid is the correct answer. Prize giving time. Ladies and gentlemen, third place, SMJK Kentley. We are now going to announce champions. Champions, RH the Star Mighty Minds National Challenge going to SMK Damansara Jaya! And we now announce second place winners, SMK Damansara Utama Team 1. We're now going to announce champions RHB the Star Mighty Minds National Challenge Selango Upper Secondary going to the girls from SMK Damansala Jaya. They came in with a six-point deficit, but they managed to turn it around after the final two rounds. They were really very good in the final two rounds. Second place by two points behind, 64.84. Give it up to SMK Damansara Utama. Challenges are as it is named, extremely challenging. You gotta use a squeeze a lot of those brain juice, but then when you're, when you're at wit's end, you gotta think out of the box some of the times. And when it comes to hands on, you gotta totally let those creative juices flow in. I'm feeling so exuberant now, and I have so many people to thank. First and foremost, my supervising teacher, Huan Chia. Thank you very much, Huan Chia. And of course, RHB and the Star as the sponsors. Well, I would definitely encourage the Form 1s and Form 2s to get their inertia started, join, enroll themselves in all these kinds of competitions. Then they can build up their confidence step by step and, you know, transcend to another pursuit once they come to Form 4 and Form 5 and they will have a stronger foundation in their knowledge. And so is their confidence. I was very shocked to hear that I got first and, of course, I was, I'm also very happy to know that I got first at the same time. It was very unexpected. There were no dramas. We, we work very well as a team. I have to say that our team is a very, very good team. We'll see you guys in finals soon. 
Well done, Salango. Congratulations. All right, guys, with Salango done, we have actually completed our nationwide search. And now we just have to wait for the finals and see who gets to hold the title of the Mightiest Minds of Malaysia. Don't forget to catch the finals on MTV7 on the 4th of November, okay? On behalf of RHB The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge 2011, the team would like to wish you Selamat Berpuasa, Selamat Hari Raya and Happy Merdeka. I'm Hani Madu and I'll see you guys at the finals. This program was brought to you by RHB and The Star.